All right, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back to this Harold Johnson My Career. It is post commentary bank here. No face cam, no nothing, because you know, I didn't. I'm not gonna record a face cam if it's post commentary. But what you are seeing are the highlights of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals because um, I it, we faced the Sixers. If you hear barking in the background, apologies. But um, we faced the Sixers, and as you know, in the Gerald Johnson My Career, we also faced the Sixers in the Eastern Conference Finals. So there was literally no point in actually you know making multiple episodes on just the easter conference finals but as you can see we won game one sixers won game two and i decided just to sim through uh, a few games well at least game three i simmed it didn't go well the rest of the games i simulated with simcast and if it was close in the fourth i jumped in and played so as you can see in game i think this is four we ended up winning i did not jump in we only won by three points Harold apparently doesn't do good in simulation, at least shooting-wise, but he had a good game. Buddy Hill was amazing. Going into a pivotal game five, Sixers, Cleveland, in Philly. It is a close game throughout. As you can see, we are up by only... We actually extend the lead, but the Sixers start to come back in that fourth quarter and cut it to a one-point game with a minute and a half left. Ben Sims is going to kick into Embiid. And Dwight Howard is going to get the put back. As you can see, I'm trying to put the starters in the game. Um, I believe, I don't know who fouled out. Someone fouled out on our team. Um, I think it was B Buddy Healed. Buddy Healed fouled out. That's why IT is in the game. And speaking of IT, in the corner, gives us the lead right back. He actually played great in this series. But Ben Simmons there gets a steal and he's gonna throw it down over Harold putting him on a poster tying up the game with 26 seconds left now Harold with the ball coming up the court 100 100 as you're gonna see later on this video like every single game after this including this we had a game winning shot opportunity did we hit any of them well you gotta keep watching to figure it out but Harold call for the ISO gets the screen from Jared Allen he's going right to the paint but he left the Sixers four seconds left that's not you know very good Harold Johnson you know player of the game what else is new eight for 19 20 points not very good but two point lead for Cleveland the Sixers have four seconds to tie it up and they are gonna give it up to Ben Simmons and Harold Johnson over commits and Ben Simmons gets the post hook I think that was but we still have a second left. Harold Johnson, first possible game winner of the playoffs. And it's off. He had a good look, but it figures we missed it. But going into overtime, two and a half minutes left. Jared Allen gets the rebound. It misses. He gets another one. Harold Johnson in the corner to put the dagger in game five. Ten point victory. I ended up just simming the rest of the game. We had a ten point lead with two minutes left. I think Embiid might have ended up fouling out. I'm not 100% sure. So, as you see, we end up winning by 11. Box score, Tobias Harris and Joel Embiid did indeed foul out. Tobias Harris had a great game. Harold Johnson dropped 32. Jared Allen, 5 blocks, 22 points. Heading into game 6. Let's see if the Cleveland Cavaliers can close it out. And right now, once again, it is a super close game. We are down by 5. Now we're down by 8 with 4 minutes left. It's looking tough. And the Sixers are starting to run away. But Cleveland down by seven. Three minutes left. I decide to hop into the game to see if I can bring us back. 29 points, 12 rebounds, 9 assists for Harold. Having a great game. Down by seven. Harold's going to cut straight to the basket. Kick it out to Jared Allen for the slam. Going right back. Down by five now. Two and a half minutes. And Tobias Harris gets wide open for the three. He knocks it down. Down by eight. Harold Johnson is going to come right back. Greening one. Now down by five. 216 left. Harold Johnson trying to work on Dwight Howard. And he knocks that one down. 40% contested, making it a four point game in Cleveland. This is the ultimate Cinderella story. The eight seed going into game six. Up 3 2 against the, I think they're the three seed? Whatever the case is. Tobias Harris misses. Four-point game. Harold Johnson is going to waste some of the clock. A three would be amazing here as he's going to pull up. 
for the three, and it's good! Harold Johnson from downtown cuts it to a one-point game, 32 seconds left. And as you know, these playoffs, Harold was shooting not well at all, especially the first two rounds. So to see him knocking down threes like this is unheard of, even though he has a good three-point rating, 2K is just garbage. But Tobias Harris, 100% smothers, gets it to go. 100% smothers. That just goes to show that the difficulty is high. Like, the CPU is all on 65. I'm on 55, some 50. But once again, another game-winning opportunity. Harold takes a bad shot, and it's off. We end up playing the foul game. Eight seconds left. Harold Johnson pulls it from the logo. It's off. And the Sixers are going to run away with game six, making it go to seven games a game seven in the eastern conference finals and as you can see on the left side the western conference finals is also going to a game seven the six seeded blazers going to seven with the lakers but as you can see it's not looking great for cleveland we started to come back slowly in that fourth but i'm jumping in the game with six and a half minutes left down by 10 it all comes down to this i was fully prepared to go straight into the offseason after this but I decided to jump in. I wanted to simulate the rest of the game and not even worry about it. But I said, screw it. We still have a chance to win. Down by 10, 6 minutes left. Danny Green is going to pull a 3 and miss it. Jared Allen with the rebound. Harold Johnson, 18, 11, and 9. Danny Green's playing terrible, but Harold's going to dunk it, make it an 8-point game. Now it's a 10-point game. And Harold Johnson from downtown knocks it down 7 Point lead for Philly. Ben Simmons is going to dunk it over Alonzo Ball to give Philly a bit of a cushion. And Joel Embiid did not foul out this game. But for the entire fourth quarter, if not like until like the few seconds in the end, he was subbed out. They kept him out of the game. That was a bad three by Harold, but Jared Allen puts it back. Not having Buddy healed for the rest of this series sucked. He was hurt, and he will be hurt for the NBA Finals as Danny Green knocks down a three. So that is terrible. Um, I believe, I don't know if I put Isaiah in the starting lineup or not, but I don't want to put Colin Sexton. But Harold trying to go back and forth with Danny Green. Knocks down a three in his face to make it back to a four-point game. Two minutes left. Matisse Thibault with the ball. Who I forgot what game. I think it was game two or whatever. Was shooting lights out from three. But Howard back out to Green. Harold jumps. Jared Allen on Danny Green. And he's going to strip him. Jared Allen, and I could have kicked it out to Colin Sexton, but if you know our history of Colin Sexton, it was smart not to, but Danny Green ends up getting the ball right from Harold, and he's going to dribble it out for a bit, give it to Dwight Howard in the post, he's going to kick it back out to Danny Green, has the ball at the top of the key, minute 18 left, Cleveland down by four, Tobias Harris for three, it's off, in and out. Cleveland Cavaliers coming up the court, Harold Johnson going to go around the defense and throw up the floater. Two point game. Harold Johnson now 16 seconds left. Is going to go to the rack and pick up a fourth foul for Dwight Howard. He can tie it here at the free throw line. He greens the first, shooting terrible from three this game. And he's going to tie it all up. As you can see, Joel Embiid is now in the game with 16 seconds left. I guarantee you, if they had him in the game for that six minutes, they six is probably 1 1. Let's be honest here. But they're going to kick it out to Embiid, kick it back out to Thibault. They're going to give Ben Simmons the ball for the final shot. I don't know about that. Eight seconds left. Tied up 106 apiece. Ben Simmons kicks it out to Embiid. That's a bad shot. But we have 1.3 seconds remaining. Another. The third game winning opportunity for Harold. Can he do it? Looking for a three. He actually gets a good look. And of course, if it ain't green, it ain't going in. We're going into a game seven overtime. This is what basketball fans love. Harold Johnson trying to work on Danny Green. Looking to get some space up by three. With 29, sec 29 seconds left. This could be the dagger. Harold cutting to the basket. And one. Harold Johnson can seal it at the free throw line for the eight seeded Cavaliers. And he does. 49 points, 19 rebounds, 10 assists. The Sixers need a quick three here if they want a chance. But Embiid is going to go straight to the rack and throw up a floater. Cuts it to four. I don't know why we call it a timeout. But it's a four-point game. A three here completely seals it. But they're going to they're gonna foul. 124, 120. 
Harold, if he knocks down this other one, it's over. Harold Johnson, 50 points, make it 51. Sixers, no timeouts remaining. The eight seed Cleveland Cavaliers with a six point lead. Tobias Harris from downtown, it's off. And they're gonna, once again, continue to foul for some reason. But just like that, as Tyrese Maxey hits a late second three, the eight seed for the first time in NBA history is heading to the NBA Finals, led by Harold's 53-point triple-double, and your Cleveland Cavaliers defeat the Philadelphia 76ers in seven games to advance to the Eastern Conference Finals for the first time in three years. Harold Johnson, what the, he's basically the LeBron. He's basically 2018 LeBron, but better. And beat at 45 points in this closeout game. Harold had a 53-point triple-double. And IT, 22 off the bench. Amazing game. That's it for me. GG.